In this Easy Add video lecture, we will learn what are filters and the types of filters as low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and notch filter or band reject filter. The best example of a filter in our day-to-day -day life is a water purifier which removes unwanted impurities from the water and supplies pure water. So the basic function of the filter is to remove the impurities and provide pure output. Many times a random noise gets generated in an electronic circuit due to different components such as resistor, inductor, capacitor, diode etc. This noise degrades the output of the circuit if not eliminated. To remove this noise or unwanted signal, a special type of circuit is designed which is called as a filter circuit. Filters are broadly classified into analog filters and digital filters. We will restrict ourselves to study of analog filters only. Analog filters are again classified into four types as low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and notch filter. Let's start with the low pass filter. As the name suggests, this filter passes low frequency signals through the circuit and blocks all high frequency signals. For every filter, a threshold frequency is decided, which is known as cutoff frequency. Low pass filter passes all the frequencies below cutoff frequencies and blocks all higher frequencies. Thus, we get high amplitude for frequencies below cutoff frequency and zero amplitude for frequencies above cutoff frequency. When we connect a resistor and a capacitor in series as shown here, we get a low pass filter. It is implemented in a circuit as shown in the diagram. Exactly opposite to this is a high pass filter. This filter passes high frequency signals and blocks low frequency signals. Thus, in a high pass filter, we get high magnitude for all frequencies above cutoff frequencies and zero magnitude for all frequencies below cutoff frequency. A high pass filter is implemented in the electronic circuits by connecting a capacitor and a resistor in series. The next type is a band pass filter. This filter only allows the signals in the certain range and blocks the remaining signals. Thus for a band pass filter, we have two cutoff frequencies named as low cutoff frequency and high cutoff frequency. Band pass filter allows only the frequencies between these two thresholds and gives zero magnitude for all other frequencies. Practically, a band pass filter is the combination of low pass filter and high pass filter. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. The last filter that we will study is the notch filter or band reject filter. As per the name, it rejects a particular set of frequencies and allows all other frequencies to pass through it. In this case also, we have lower and higher cutoff frequencies. But notch filter allows all frequencies below lower cutoff and above higher cutoff and blocks intermediate frequencies. This shows that a band pass filter and a band reject filter are opposite to each other. Let's see what we've learned in this chapter. A filter is a circuit which blocks unwanted signals and only passes required pure signals. Filters are broadly classified as analog filters and digital filters. Analog filters are further classified as low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, and notch filter. A low pass filter passes frequencies below cutoff frequency only. A resistor in series with capacitor forms a low pass filter. A high pass filter passes frequencies above cutoff frequency only. A capacitor in series with resistor forms a high pass filter. Next filter is band pass filter, which allows only certain set of frequencies between lower and higher cutoff frequencies. The last filter is notch filter or band reject filter which rejects a particular band of frequencies and passes all other frequencies.